Multiversus is coming out this year, baby. Closed alpha is happening right now. There's going to be more tests. It's coming out this year. Cross platform, every platform, baby. But what's Multiversus? I glad you asked, sir. It is going to be the next big thing. Oh, man. It is going to be the next Smash Brothers. Let me tell you why. Free to play classic characters with their voice actors like tom and jerry shaggy batman superman and gonna be adventure time characters so many more people constant updates constant new game modes seasons everything let's go baby warner brothers is pulling out all the stops from this game all right they doing what nickelodeon did giving them no money to make a game and the developers try their best but then fail because they can't even put voices on the characters nah they're going all out there's already a cinematic it's already fantastic bugs bunny gets punched in the face by shaggy check out my video on that oh man i am losing my mind on this game so if you don't know what the game is let me explain multiverses is a free-to-play platform fighter now what's a platform fighter well if you know what smash brothers is you know what a platform fighter is other games like this are Brawlhalla, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, Rivals of Aether, the list goes on and on. This one in particular, though, is a little bit different. You see, the main focus is 2v2 team-based fighting. Now, there's still 1v1, and there's going to be a four-player free-for-all match as well, all of which will have their own different ranked modes, as well as content-filled seasons, at least that's what the FAQ says. 2v2 is uh, something I feel is, isn't is touched upon very much in most fighting games. Like, and I think this is what's going to set this apart from other fighting games. You see, it being free to play, plus having 2v2 in ranked, means that you can get your friend who doesn't know how to play the game to come on with you and you can carry them by and make them feel good about that game and make them wanna, want to play the game more. It's ingenious. Plus, there should just be more team-based modes where you can just hop into a game with your friend and just, just carry the shit out of them and games in general. Multiverses is made by Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers owns a ton of stuff, so the roster in this game is already crazy. But it can get even crazier very quickly. Let's go over the roster while we're at it. You got the Iron Giant, Taz the Tasmanian Devil, Velma from the Scooby-Doo, Arya Stark from Game of Thrones, Batman, Bugs Bunny, Finn the Human, Garnet from Steven Universe, Harley Quinn, Jake the Dog, Ryan Dog from God knows what that is, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo who can go Super Saiyan, Steven Universe, Superman, Tom and Jerry as the same character, and Wonder Woman. And there's gonna be more fighters revealed soon. There's gonna be more DLC. This will be a live service game. This game, as long as it's popular, will get updates. It will receive constant new content, just like Brawlhalla, while being free to play. The potential here for this to be a massive, massive fighting game is there. 100%. And, uh, well, uh, just to hold on there, if you would, uh, hit that like button and maybe subscribe, that'd be really great for me. And, uh, maybe, you know, leave a comment down below on, uh, how excited you are for this game, because I sure am super excited. All right, back to the video. Warner Brothers even created their own develop game developer for this game in particular. Player First Games. As far as I can tell, this is the only game that they've worked on so far. It was founded in 2019, and I'm pretty sure that's when they started development on this game. It is made up of a bunch of senior developers, though, so it's in good hands, and clearly is, from the gameplay that we see. And there's cinematics. It's pretty cool cinematics. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl didn't get a cinematic. There's not even voice acting in this game. Did I mention this game has voice acting and awesome soundtracks? Did I mention that Tom does the uh, classic Tom yell where he's like, ah! That's not what it sounds like. But Batman's got his voice actor that you, you know which voice actor I'm talking about. I forget his name. I'm not looking it up. Fuck you. Multiverses is going to have crossplay. That means you can play on PC. 
you can play on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and your account goes to all of them. You can link your account so you can hop on your Nintendo Switch and then hop on your PC and play on the same account. Play with your friends who are on Xbox, PlayStation. Everybody's able to play and it's free to play. Obviously, there's going to be in-game transactions, but I'm assuming, considering it's a fighting game, you can buy new characters. This, by, by the way, it's just speculation. You can buy cosmetics. I feel like they're gonna do exactly what Brawlhalla does. Now, in Brawlhalla, you can still unlock characters by just playing. And it's relatively easy. So hopefully this goes down the same route. Multiverses will have online uh, rollback net code. Now, that's basically means that it will have a good, it will have better net code than um, Smash Brothers. <laughs> if you've ever played Smash Brothers online, you know what I'm talking about. The lag is kind of ass. Unfortunately, some people won't get to play the closed alpha because you have to sign up before this video came out and you have to get a key and it's only till the 27th but there will be a beta an open beta in on july 2022 20, th th this july next month <laughs> all right two months two months in two months there'll be an open beta which basically means the game will come out shortly after you'll be able to play it very soon <laughs> To summarize, I am very excited for this game because not only is it going to be free, it has iconic characters. They have the potential to bring in so many more iconic characters into this game. They bring in such a wide variety of audiences. People can try it out for free and see if they like it. Anybody can join. You don't need a PC. You can play on any other console and play with your friends on any other console. So the accessibility is in numerous that's not even i don't even know if it's a word and just like smash brothers it's platform fighter a lot more people like platform fighters compared to uh say mortal kombat or like street fighter you don't really need to learn combos if they can appeal to the casual crowd while also appealing to the competitive crowd this game could be insanely profitable which means i could make a shit ton of content on it yes yes content yes well, check out my other two videos on this uh, game if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more Multiverses content because I am so stoked for this game. And I will content farm the hell out of it. You will get a video every single day. Probably not, but hey, I mean, if I get enough views, I can quit my job. I can stream and do this full time. Come on, let's, let's get me 100k subs. Get me 200k subs. All right, love you guys. Share my videos, please. <laughs>